this new tripod but it hurts to open it because it's so new my old one has been broken for more than a year and that is why most of my videos are always standard so I realized I haven't really done a proper introduction of like what we're trying to do with the house I've been trying to redecorate our house not as much as you know you would think obviously we're still renting we can't just redecorate every single thing obviously also we cannot afford to redecorate every single thing or buy every furniture that i want to buy there are some furniture that i would love to keep um definitely in the future what we want to do is get a new coffee table and a new tv console since we've had both um on our first apartment together so that one is still um, on the list for the future but i've already started with putting up posters in the wall and we're gonna continue doing that today and i have two boxes of small furniture that i will build as well and i had it arrived a few nights ago and it's been sitting in my living room so we're gonna go through that today as well as my other chores way to cook this <laughs> honestly it doesn't even give justice to the tempura because it's actually very good from a frozen one from Trader Joe's it's very good I wanted to show you guys something that I ordered a couple weeks ago um, along with other things um, but this one I'm very happy about this is from Artifact Uprising this has been on my list for quite a while now and I've always wanted to get one since we got married so this is like a wedding book with all of our photos from the wedding um, it has our names on it and I put our last name and our, um, our wedding date and it's just so pretty even the color matches with one of the posters I put up on the wall so now it's like a coffee book um, a coffee table book that I just put here for now since we don't have um, a coffee table that I want to buy yet but I'm very happy because our first year anniversary is about to come up
sorry it's a little bit loud because of the laundry ongoing. But basically we bought I bought this bench so that we could sit on something while we put on our shoes. This is the parlor anyway, so we don't open this door and this is the laundry. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Yay! Another one is this thing and I'm gonna put it by the door. Not sure if you guys can see it right now. So there's a bunch of boxes in that area as of the moment, but this is supposed to be here. Ta -da! Just like that. And then so we have this um bowl that keeps like our keys and other knickknacks. And it's gonna be there now so that when we come home we put our keys here. Let me go. I do have more that I ordered from Amazon. Let's start with that. I always start with pressing them together first. One, so I'm just gonna do two command strips on the top on the sides. Sorry, can't even figure out where I'm gonna put it all the time. So I do have two over here, so this one's... I think I should do the violet on top and the flower one at the bottom, just like so. Although here we go again because I'm not sure if this is going to be level. forgot I also bought a another poster for our wedding photo and I already got it printed out with the same company called artifact uprising so I'm gonna hang that up right now with command strips box holders I think they were like 16 or 20 dollars each but I got it from Amazon so if you guys want it I can also link it down below they're so pretty and they just attach with the flower at the bottom and my husband loves the shoes everywhere because he has a lot of allergies so this is the frame and it has a beautiful painting over here by Van Gogh but so the sides are very very thin and I can't possibly command strip this very thin edge and it is also the depth is very I don't know how to say it but if I put the command strips here they won't attach to the wall so I have the stud nails and I have the stud finder and I don't even know how to do it I use this nail and it's pretty thick and quite longer than I want to use because the problem is the stud finder is not working. The stud finder is not working because it did not come with batteries and I couldn't figure out what kind of fucking battery I needed. Which again, I'm super pissed about. 
So I did put this in the wall without doing a stud finder and I'm very scared. If it falls down on me or on my husband, I am dead either way. So. I'm sorry for the noise of the laundry. It's still not over and I don't want to pause it anymore. But I also got a wall mirror. It's not mounted to the wall. It's just leaning on its back. I know this is super, super annoying to see. I'm also trying to get a new trash can. But basically it makes the whole place brighter and bigger at the same time, even though it's placed here. I haven't found an opportune area for it to be placed to as well. But I think it's it's nice here. I like it. I'm so glad I finally got rid of the um, the plate wrap over here, the drying wrap over here, and I changed it to this thing that I also bought from Amazon. Um, I do have a lot of dishes right now, so I'm not going to show you that part. But, so I also bought this wooden hook thingy that you're supposed to drill into the wall, but, you know, um, not very good at that. So, I have four, and I was planning to use two here, with command strips, obviously, because I'm not doing the wall any longer. So I have two right here, and I was thinking of putting it by the door so we can hang our keys. Ta-da! Last thing that I need to do is for these two books, I bought four on purpose because I want to put them up here like so because I have some bathrooms and there are no there are no hooks in this wall and I need to hang it up because I can't use it if I don't have the hooks. And I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll let you know once I buy new stuff. Definitely want to really change this part and our TV console as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed my new decorations in the house and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!